Hello, good morning class. So today we're going to have a new topic, which is uh, uh, related to forces as well. And this is all about equilibrium and rotational dynamics. So let me minimize this. So what is equilibrium? So when you say that something is in equilibrium, what comes to your mind? Okay, so maybe you can answer that later on. Okay, so equilibrium is of an object. In physics, we define it as something that is that somehow there's no acceleration. So equilibrium, you have the, the object can either be at rest or moving with constant velocity. So the net external force is zero. So the equilibrium of an object has zero acceleration, okay? So, equilibrium. So when you say that something is in equilibrium, the net force is zero. Because I begin, all the forces cancel out. So yeah, zero. Or acceleration is equal to zero, okay? And when you say that something is in equilibrium, it is both in X and Y component. So meron siyang X and Y component. So net force along the X is also equal to zero. And net force along the Y is also equal to zero. So both the components of vector and also acceleration equal to zero sila. Okay, so let us uh, define here some new types of forces. We have the tension. So this force is present in any connecting object. So as you can see here, if you have a block then attached to a string, you pull the string and there's tension on the string and the, this side of the block, okay? Or tension is the force between two ropes. Or in your body, it can also be tension on your hands, on your joints, on your muscle, diba? So let me... Uh, increase this. Ayaw. So, kunyari ito, you can experience the tension in the joints of your, in your fingers here, here, and it is transmitted through these connecting parts up to here, up to here, kasi connected sila. So, it is transmitted through that connected part of your, of, of the tendon or the muscle. Okay, so a massless rope will transmit tension undiminished from one, from one end to the other. So whatever force you apply here, it will also be experienced at this side, at this side, at that side. So imagine a gabago in direction, no? this one is downward, this one is upward, but the magnitude is or should be the same, right? Okay, if the rope passes around a massless, frictionless pulley, the tension will be transmitted to the other end of the rope undiminished. So whatever the tension you apply here should be the same as the tension you apply here. Okay, so here is the definition of equilibrium. An object is in equilibrium when it has zero acceleration. And it means that forces equal to zero. So when you solve problems involving equilibrium, first you have to select an objects or object or objects to which the equations of equilibrium are to be applied. And then draw a free body diagram, you have to visualize the problem for each object chosen above. Include only forces acting on the object, not forces the object, not forces the object exerts on its environment. So we, I will demonstrate how to solve the problems with, with an example after this. So choose a set of X and Y axis for each object and resolve all forces in the free body diagram into components that point along these axes and apply the equations and solve for unknown quantities. Ito yung example natin. So for example, uh, ito yung sa ano class, uh, pag napilayan ka, they need to apply weight to, to pull the, the bone, for example, so that it will, have, it will reconnect to, the, to its original ano, uh, position. So for example, na dislocate ka na ganon, so they have to correct it. So they apply attention here so that uh, it will uh, 
uh, apply some force to straighten and then so that, that the joints or something that is injured will connect again the bones, will connect again, they will, they will heal. Okay, then they apply weights on that and this weight is uh, you know, usually sand, bar, sand ano, weight or other weights na computed just to to pull this and apply tension to the broken, to this, uh, for example, if you broke your, your, your radius ulna, the, the foot, okay? So yan yung tension dyan. And it has to be a known quantity, hindi sobra, hindi rin kulang, baka ma, ma, ma injure, mas ma injure mo pa yung ano, yung, yung injured patient. So this is usually done in orthopedic centers or departments in the hospital. So if you're an orthopedic surgeon, then you think to pick up the procedures, yeah. So, so the, in example here, given yung mass ng, ng weight, and then hindi given yung T1, at hindi rin given yung T2. And then we were asked to find the value for F. Ang sabi sa ano, select an object to which the equations of equilibrium are to be applied. So ang pinaka-object natin dito would be yung pinaka-gitna, so, gen, yeah, so that's why the free body diagram is only uh, drawn as this. Meron kang force, meron kang T1, meron kang T2. Okay? So draw a free body diagram. Ito na yun. Ito yung free body diagram. Okay? Choose a set of X and Y axis and apply equation. So ang, ang X axis and Y axis natin, medyo shifted. Tabing eh, kasi ganito yung position eh. So... It's better to, to make it simple kasi alam natin pwedeng gawing horizontal yung F para yung magiging angle niya, rate, niya later would be cosine of negative 180 at cosine of 180. So it will come out as negative. Diba? And then ito naman yung kasi given din yung angle na to 35 with respect to the horizontal axis. So sa baba 35 din. So mas madali. So if we shift the uh, axis a little bit Tilted like that. So, ito yung magiging x, and ito yung magiging y axis natin. Okay? So, for this example, again, don't forget to. So, example number one, write the given. So, ang given natin dito would be the, the mass, which is 2.2 kilogram. And, of course, you can compute the weight for that. Uh, mass is, uh, weight is mass times g. So, multiply that and mg. So the weight is equal to about well, 2.2 times 9.8, so it's about 22 Newton, okay? So may kita nyo dito sa free body diagram that the weight is connected to T2, so they're directly connected. So if you're talking about the magnitude, magnitude lang naman yung weight. Ang magnitude ng, ng T2 should be equal to the weight, magnitude lang, okay? But same direction, ito downward, ito a little bit south, uh, southeast, 35 degree. But the magnitude is the same as the weight kasi connected, di ba sabi natin, yung tension is undiminished, transmitted to any connecting object. So it means here that T2 is given, T2 is equal to weight, and that is equal to 22 Newton. Okay? So nandiyan na yung sagot, pero try to, let's try to solve that. So let me draw again. So, kunyari, ito yung, ito yung ano natin, no? Ayan siya. Ito yung force, F. Tapos ito yung ating, select ko na lang ganyan. T1 at saka T2. I did not use the, like, protractor exact angle anymore. Hala. I don't know what happened. I did not draw this, but it comes out like, as like that. So you have T, uh, what is this, T1, and then you have T2. And these ones are 35 degrees. Okay? So to solve that, use the equation. Magtataka kayo bakit ang equation parang summation of Fx equal to 0, summation of Fy equal to 0. Pero marami yan. You know that force, or the uh, tension is a force. Okay? So, and for the x component, ito muna siya. x component muna. Summation of Fx equal to zero. Maraming x components yan kasi may tension 1 ka, may tension 2, may, ten, may, may weight ka which is equal to tension 2 actually. So, 
ano yung X component ng ng T1? So, ang gagawin nyo, uh, sa mission of uh, X component ng T1, T1, X component, plus T2, X component, plus uh, F, X component ng FX. Oh, wait. Summation of FX. Nagkapareho yung aking nagamit na ano, kasi F din yung dito. Summation of FX. And then, equal to zero. Kasi dito lang naman sila all nag-up. So, ganyan siya. Aking, ano yung X component ng T1? Di ba cosine? So, T1 cosine theta. Okay. Uh, anong angle ang gagamitin? It should be 35. Okay. Ano pa? Plus uh, T2 cosine theta, whatever that angle is. Ang gagamitin natin angle is with respect to the positive x-axis. So 360 minus 35. Kasi di ba kung 35 to, eto, uh, 325 degrees. Okay? So, ang x component naman ng fx i plus f uh, f whatever the value for the force cosine 180. Why 180? Kasi with respect to the positive x axis hanggang dito lang. Uh, equal to 0. Equate nyo na siya sa 0. At diba parang from this equation, naging tatlong terms, naging taganito, so hindi siya ganun kadali. You, you really need to understand. So ang T1 natin, unknown. So just uh, T1 cosine, any angle? For T1, that's 35. 35 degree plus T2. Actually, may value on T2 natin, that's 22. So pwede isulat ko na. Okay. Ang dito natin ay plus 22. Kasi 22 Newton. Times cosine. Ano ang dalang gagamitin? Not 35 but with respect to the positive x-axis. You have here, tanggalin ko naman itong video. You have here 325. Then plus F cosine of 180, which I think you sure you will know it later. Mm -hmm. Ano yung cosine 35? If you can, you're going to use your calculator, you should get an answer of 0 0.82 T1 cosine of uh, 325 uh, times 22. Then it's about, I think it's about 18 Newton. And then cosine of 180 is negative 1. Even negative 1 yan. So minus F equal to 0. Okay? So ayan yung equation natin. Or pwede mong bagupin. If is equal to 0 0.82 T1 plus 18. So tawagin natin siya equation number 1. Okay, so we cannot solve F yet. Pero may formula na tayo sa F with respect to T1. And then plus 18 yung formula na. Now let's go to the Y component. So Y component naman, ganun pa rin. Parang simple lang equation. No? Pero mag expand siya. So, yung T1 may Y component, yung T2, yung F, so tatlo yan. So, yung isang term mo magiging tatlo. T anong X component? So, bali, y, y component. Y component ng T1 plus um, Y component ng T2. This is T1Y, T2Y plus FY, yung Y component ng F, not the summation, equal to zero. 
So, kung mapapasin mo, pareho lang naman. But this one is sine. So, E1. Sine of 35 degrees. Yung dito naman, E2, which is 22. Sine of uh, 3 to 5. Plus F, sine of uh, 180. So, kung papasin mo, magka-cancel to kasi sine of 180 is 0. So, magiging 0 sila. Dito ka na lang sa dalawa. So, sine of 35, it should be 0. 57 times T1. Sine of 3 to 5 times uh, 22. You should get an answer of negative something. Negative 13 equal to 0. So, ngayon, makukuha mo dito yung T1. Ipat sa kabila si 13, divide both sides of the equation by 0. 0.5. 7. So, T1 is equal to 22 Newton. Pero, what is now F? So, using equation number equation number 1 and substitute equation number 2 in 1. We get answer of F is equal to 0 0.82 times T1, which is 22 Newton, plus 18. Your answer should be about 36 Newton. Okay? So, yun yung final answer. Oops, hindi nyo nakita kasi I was writing. So, nandito na siya. So, 36 Newton. Okay, so if you have a question, take note and then so we can address in our sa synchronous session. So, let's have another example para mas ma-practice kayo. So, I will write here. So, now let's go to example number two. So, ang given na sa figure, mga angles, and the weight of the engine is 3,115 Newton. Find T1 and T2. So, again, yung x-axis and y-axis, identify natin. May angle ka na 10 degrees with respect to the positive y. Na meron ka rin angle nito. Kung 80 to, itong angle na to is nasa 10. Kasi 90 naman yan total. So, I'll write the given siguro. So, given I weight, which is equal to 3150 Newton. Pero hindi natin alam ang tito. Pero given yung mga angles nila. So, uh, drawing muna. Yung free body diagram natin. So, meron kang T1. Ano no? Y-axis. So, kunyari, ito yung T1. O, oh, bakit ano? Kaya, ano na? Gray. So, meron kang T1. Okay. 10 degrees yung... Meron kang T2. Meron kang weight. So, nandiyan lang si weight W. Ah, mali-mali ang tito ko. Hmm. Yan. Ito dapat ang tito. Hindi yung isa. Horizontal. Gawin natin itong X. Ito yung Y. Nagyan ko yung paraan. Okay? So, kung... Um, Ang angle na gagamitin mo dito should be 90 plus 10. So, parang 100 degrees. Ito namang isa, maybe minus 10, 350. Iba 360 minus 10 degrees, 350. Ngayon, sa solution, ganun pa rin, similar procedure. Summation of all the fx, equate mo siya sa zero. Pero, ay, bakit yung grain? Yan yun ako sa alam mo. Pero itong T1 may, may X component, ang T2 may X component, ang weight, let's see kung may X component siya. So isulat nyo ng lahat ng X component. Ano X component ang T1? Di ba? Cosine something. So T1, cosine 
Ang pwede ang gamitin is 90 plus 10 cos 100. Ano naman ang x component ng t2? Ito. Diba cos pa rin t2? Cos of t2? Parang 360 minus 10, that's 350. And then, x component ng weight. So, sulat muna para kompleto. Cosine of with respect to the positive x-axis, 90, 180, 270. Pero alam nyo na na ang 270 is 0. So, maka-cancel yan. If you're going to complete cosine of 100, it should be negative something. Negative 0 0.17 times t1. Cosine of 350 is positive plus 0 0.98 t2. My, well, plus 0 is 0, so equal to 0. So dito pa lang, malalaman mo na yung value ng d1. Pag nilipat mo yung kabila sa t1, magiging positive. Or the other way around, doesn't matter, magiging positive pa rin sila. So finally, t1 is equal to 0 0.98 over 0 0.17 t2. Or t1 is equal to 5.8 t2. So tawagin na natin yung equation number one. Okay? So, wala pa tayo mga kong values sa T1 at saka T2. So, summation of Fy naman, equate mo sa zero. So, x, uh, y component naman. Parang similar lang dito, but sine. So, T1, sine of 100, plus T2, sine of 350, plus W, sine of 270 degrees, equate mo sa zero. Oops, bakit wala yung sign? Yan siya. Sign of 100 should be, ano kaya, calculator? 0 0.9. So 0 0.98 T1. Yung ano natin is sign of 350 times T2. Okay. Sulat nyo na lang. Minus. 0 0.17 T2. Sign of, sign of 270 is negative 1, right? So, minus W. Equate mo sa 0. Then, alam natin na pwede kang maglagay ng value here. Kasi ang T1 is equal to 5.8 ng T2. So, why not substitute equation 1 in number 2? So, kunyan at equation number 2, Let's substitute 1 in 2. So, ilagay nyo na 0 0.98 T1 minus 0 0.17 times Tama ba? Okay lang. Or dapat pala, substitute the value of, substitute 1 in 2. Mali pala yung aking ano. Let. Edit natin. Mali yung pagka-substitute ko. Substitute 1 in 2. So, save muna. So, dapat yung ano, 0 0.98. Lagay mo ng T1, which is 5.8 T2. Minus... 0 0.17 um, well, uh, no, no, no. minus 0 0.17 T2 minus W which is 3150 equal to 0. So, ganun lang. Ngayon, pwede nyo nang i-add lahat ng may T2, T2. Pwede mo na siyang pagsamahin. So, ito ay about 
about 5.7 T2 minus 0 0.17 T2 minus 3150 equal to 0. So, pag samahin mo yung may mga may T2, 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 T2. T2. <laughs> ayan. So, ayan, 5 point something. So, ang matitira ay 5.53 T2 equals 3150. Here, T2 is equal to 3150 all over 5.53 or T2 is equal to 570 Newton. So, alam natin yung T2. Then, we cannot find uh, T1. So, what is T1? Then, use the value use value of T2 in equation number 1. So therefore, T1 is equal to 5.8 times T2, which is now 570 Newton. So T1 is equal to 3304 Newton. So that's the final answer. Okay.